All right, guys, we're back out here on the range. Today, actually, I wanted to film quite a lot with all the new equipment that I have here, like, for instance, the Tios and all the Sabre tactical gear for the FX Pantera. But it's just turned out to be a fun day with my son here out of the range. We have some steel targets ranging from 25, 50, uh, 75, 100, 125, 150 and 175 meters, not yards. And uh, we're just going to have a little friendly competition to see how many shots we need, uh, each of us, in order to hit all the steel targets. Uh, the closest one, I believe, is half an inch and the one at 150 meters is just uh, six inch. So uh, let's see who does the best. <laughs> Now before we start, a little more explanation about the setup that I'm using. Of course, this is the FX Pantera as you see, but it's a little bit souped up. Uh, for instance, we have all the Sabre tactical uh, rail and weights, as you can uh, find in my previous video, how to install it, have a close look at all those parts. And my brand new Element Optics Tios, of course, really awesome scope that we're testing out today. And so far, we're really liking it. Now, when I'm shooting, I'm shooting the Javelins uh, 34 grains Gen 2 right at about 1000, 1010 feet per second, something like this, uh, which gives us a pretty flat trajectory and also a very good consistency uh, throughout the whole field. We have rolled down all our holdovers, so uh, let's get this competition started, shall we? Right, so the closest target, 25 yards, according to my holdovers, it's minus five. Very handy on the Element Optics Tios, the zero, you can go five minus, so that should be it. Let's start the recording. Uh, where is that little target? Parallax is still far out. Much better. That's our first target. And of course, that shouldn't be a problem. 50 yards, uh, 50 meters, right on zero. Adjust the parallax. There it is. Again, not an issue. Uh, 12 clicks for 75. Parallax to 75. <laughs> 75, also not an issue. Going to 100 with 26 clicks. Not an issue, 125, 41 clicks. Straight on, 150, 57 clicks. Bingo, and then 175, 74 clicks. Bingo, seven out of seven, awesome. Let's hand the gun to him. All right, camera rolling. Go ahead. Starting off, 25. Shouldn't be a problem. Hitting very hard. Okay, can I start it? Next up, 50. Bingo. 75. 
95 bingo 100 Say impact. Impact. Seventy-five. Seventy-four clicks. And the one for all the marbles. Mm -hmm. Bingo! Seven out of seven. Well done. All right, as you can see, that was way easy for the Pantera, especially from the bench. I hope the scope cam footage comes out great. I didn't use the aperture ring yet. Uh, that's for a later video. Uh, we just were having fun and we thought, let's do a friendly competition, make a little video in the meanwhile for you to enjoy. So uh, since we both hit seven out of seven shots on all the uh, various distances, very easy with those uh, nice clicks on the Element Optics Tios, of course. Um, but uh, let's round off with a second little competition and that is we're going to shot, shoot each uh, 10 shots at 175 meters. Um, if we both hit seven, uh, 10 out of 10 shots, then the time is going to be the deciding factor who won. So um, I'll go up first, let's see how I do. Mm -hmm. All right. 175 clicks are still right. Parallax is okay. Timer okay. You have a timer? Yes. You say start. Three, two, one, start. That's one missed. Two missed. The wind is kicking up. And I'm out. Two beast, eight out of ten, with a time of 45 seconds and 28 hundreds. All right. All right. Shooter say when ready. Start.
Also 8 out of 8, so equal tie, so time matters. How much do you think you did? 47 seconds. 1 minute 09. Oh, ah. <laughs> Farmac experience. Right guys, here we are, more or less at the end of the video and our little competition decided. All right guys, just as I'm packing up, my son wanted to try off camera to see if he could beat his time and could beat my time and do better. The surprise is he just hit at 175 meters, 10 out of 10, with a time of 54.06, actually beating my ass, so. The FX Pantera performing very well from the bench. I know the setup like you have it here, it's not really meant to perform from the bench, but this gives the best uh, uh, accurate results between different shooters, how really accurate that Pantera really is. Shooting out to 175 meters. Uh, the element optics tracking with the turrets, awesome as you could see in the first part, and therefore uh, really love this scope, the new scope I have on my Pantera right here. For some of you who are interested in the settings, now these settings are a little bit uh, difficult to copy because I also realized when I went to RMAC that the tune that I established here was completely different from there. I could go with a lot less uh, pressure on the regulator in order to reach that same kind of velocity. We were very low below sea level and RMAC was, I think, above 1000 meters or something. So uh, the pressures behave really differently as well as the projectiles flying. So um, I will still give you the details. Uh, just for reference, we are just about, what is it, between 10 and 20 meters above sea level. So uh, there you have it. The regulator is uh, set at 155, 156 bar. The macro wheel is the big one, is set to 13 and the micro is set to 3. Shooting these Javelin 34 grains just over 1000 feet per second, I believe it's 1005, 1010 feet per second, really consistently consistent as well. So we're going to wrap up the video right here. As always, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, put something in the comment section if you want, and I'll be happy to answer your question. And I hope to see you back in the next one.